Sky right now, there's a whole layer cake of clouds. You've got gray skies in the distance. We also have some of the marine layer. Let's go to our camera on top of the uh, Salesforce Tower, which looks out towards the Golden Gate Bridge. And you can kind of see these are marine layer clouds coming in here. Golden Gate Bridge is usually an excellent tool for us to gauge what's going on. Those towers are 746 feet tall. When we see the fog come in, if you notice, the fog is never usually at the same level. Sometimes it obscures the whole bridge. Sometimes the base of that cloud is so high, it's higher than the bridge itself, sometimes around 1,000 feet, which is where it is today. That's an important clue. When the fog lifts like that, that tells you low pressure is in charge. The weather is allowed to rise. And this is, we're right in the center of an area of low pressure right now, which is responsible for our thunderstorms. And it's also allowed the marine layer to lift. When we get into heat waves and it's really high pressure, that pushes the fog down, sometimes on the deck of the bridge or at its most extreme under the bridge. When we break our biggest heat waves of the summer, when they're finally about to come to an end, the sign is a little ribbon of fog that has to sneak in under the bridge and get into the bay because high pressure is pushing it down so far. So the takeaway is low pressure is in charge today. And when we look at it on the big picture on the satellite, you kind of see the clouds are spinning a bit here. But watch the water vapor. And now a very dramatic picture comes into view. We are right in the center of an area of low pressure. So the marine layer is rising, but more important to that, it's also giving lift to these thunderstorms. Usually when you get thunderstorms, you need the heating of the afternoon to add the energy. That hot air is what usually causes the air to rise. We don't need that now because we've got an area of low pressure right over us. The fog is lifting. The convection cells are lifting. We're getting thunderstorms in the morning. That's weird. It can happen, but you really need all of the conditions to come together just right in order for that to happen. And that's what we've got. Complex of thunderstorms right off the coast. That started two hours ago. That's harmlessly moving away. But what we've seen over the last uh, 30 minutes, some rain has moved over the city. We caught that from our camera on top of Salesforce Tower. Here's the rain on Mount Diablo. This is the stuff that's now moving into the East Bay. That will give more widespread showers over here. And when you look at it on the big picture, there's an organized line coming our way that should be a little more widespread. That one right there. That, the high resolution forecast models had been seeing that for about the last 24 hours. <laughs> like right at this time of day and pretty much in that location. So good job on those. Those over there were missed. Very difficult to see, which is why we rely on the notion that the ingredients are in place and we know a 20% chance of an isolated thunderstorm is possible. And when, what that is telling you is there's a 20% chance for any location in the Bay Area on this day to experience an isolated thunderstorm. This radar image is a perfect example of all of that right now. Uh, we're in this for the next few hours. I'll show you what happens next on the future cast coming up in a bit. For now, Gianna, 